Welcome back to the show, Zippy. Ready to get started? You yeah, always are. You sure. Always are. My first guest tonight is a writer at the Herald Dispatch, and you can also see him on television on Thursdays and Fridays on WSAZ, talking about the weekend ahead. He's here to promote his new book, Dave Trippin. He's one of the coolest guys I know. Please welcome Dave Lavender. What is that? What's up, Zippy? Dave, sit down, man. Swimming. I don't think anyone's ever swam through the doors. Just give us some props, you know, to the swimming and diving team. That's right. Dave, how are you doing, my friend, as you take a drink of water? Well, I'm doing great. I just, I love that uh, uh, great reporting by Zippy. Zippy, you know, something that, else. That was, that was, uh, that was uh, fantastic. You know, and pointed out, you know, the, as the Boston College kids uh, so well uh, reiterated that, where, where are we? <laughs> <laughs> what are we, you know, we just showed up here. <laughs> and, and, right, and that's, that's kind of one of the reasons I wrote the book, because, you know, we're like, West Virginia is kind of like Southeast, Midwest, um, you know, draw a six-hour ring around us, and we can be on an island in Canada. <laughs> and uh, so it's it's really a, a, a fantastic, great home base to be tripping from. There you go. And we got the book right here. I want to show that real quick. Dave Trippin. It is you and your family taking trips. I'll put that right there in the front there. See if we can get that. How long did it take you to throw this book together? Um, well, we've uh, we've been back here about seven years at the Herald Dispatch, mm -hmm. and uh, we've been doing this uh, Dave Trippin travel series for about the whole time, about five and a half, six years, and really going out to some of the uh, funky places that we have out. We're usually within about a day's drive. And sort of the idea was to, um, you know, uh, places, uh, books like Way Out in West Virginia had done a blurb on, say, the Palace of Gold. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, our idea was, let's actually go out and spend the night with the Harry Krishnas and see what happens. And so, so that's sort of the idea for that's the book. That's how horror movies start, but that's okay. I'm glad you had three kids to start, right? Now you're only down to... Yeah, uh, we're, yeah we only have one left. You only have so. one left, so... We had to leave them, but, you know. <laughs> you know, it's funny that you're the type of guy that if someone says, there is nothing going on, don't say that in front of Dave Lavender because you can start, oh, no, there's stuff going on. We've got this, this, and this. Yeah, I would definitely hit somebody with my metal lunchbox. I, <laughs> I actually carry a Buck Rogers one. So. Really? This is my yeah. Knight Rider lunchbox. We keep all of our cue cards in it so we know where we're going. But thank you for throwing a shout-out to the Knight Rider Ab lunchbox. Absolutely. I love it. Yeah, one, yeah actually, one of, our, uh, one of our favorite restaurants that we ate at was Edda's Lunchbox Cafe. Mm -hmm. And that's um, uh, just a little bit south of Athens, Ohio, near Lake Hope. And uh, they have the largest lunchbox collection, one of the largest lunchbox collections in the United States and they actually have really good food and it's like two old hippies from Columbus that moved down there and opened up this business and it's just a, like I said it's one of those neat places that we have here that uh, you know that you don't have other places and I think that's what makes our, our region unique mm -hmm. so as you see the McDonaldization of America here in Appalachia we still have the spirit the independent spirit mountaineer spirit the Kentucky spirit and uh, kind of Southern Ohio spirit to do things ourselves, and that's some of the things that we kind of show in the book. You know, not bad. Now you also got some pictures and some video too, right? That you, that yeah, you took yeah, along we, the yeah. Way. We, uh, we, my, uh, my wife Terrell, uh, she's a Syracuse grad, mm -hmm. and she worked uh, for uh, Gannett and uh, and freelance for Washington Post and different stuff. And she, we've always take tons of photos along the way, and uh, only once uh, uh, dropped our camera in the Coal River <laughs> this last summer. <laughs> insurance. That's where insurance comes that, in. That'll pretty much kill a digital camera. Uh -huh. Yeah, we. we found that out. We got some pictures here. Let's throw them up on the screen and, and you can talk about what we have. We've got the Dave Trippin logo there. And you've done this, you said, how long now? Uh, we've done this about five and a half years. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we've traveled to a lot of different places. And this, this is a dinosaur world. It's a real quirky uh, park that's right off of uh, I-65 out near Mammoth Cave, uh, Kentucky, which is the world's longest cave system. It's uh, about 365 miles and counting. And that's one of the things you said. I mean, all this stuff is relatively close if you're just yeah. willing to go those few extra miles. That's right. And like, here's, here's a picture of skiing in West Virginia. And we have 850,000 skiers a year come to West Virginia. And, um, you know, a lot of those people travel from Florida. And it's like, man, if they can travel from Florida, come up here and do it, we can travel two or three hours to go hit some incredible stuff, you know. That's awesome. Yeah, and there's a Mothman, Mothman. Museum. Yeah, a Mothman. Yeah. We visited the Mothman back in Halloween. Didn't there find him. We were looking for him. We didn't find him. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, lo I love Point Pleasant. They've had a great revival, you know, and uh, that last clip there was a rabbit hash, uh, Kentucky. Uh, that's that's uh, in uh, over uh, the southern side of Cincinnati, and one of the oldest general stores that's still, um, you know, that's still around. And the funky thing is when you go out and travel and you never know what you're going to run into, uh, we ran into a gal from Milton who was uh, behind the counter at really? Rabbit Hash General so they Store. Go everywhere. 
yeah. Dave, I tell you what, you can go on forever. You got some great stories. Thank you for coming on the show. Yeah, thanks, Steve. Hey, hey, we got something for you real quick. Got you a nice apron here from Ohio. You like that state, right? Oh, Ohio? Yes. Wild Ohio gives Sweet, you a little man. cooking apron, and then there's some, <laughs> some whatnot in there you can cook when you come home. I don't even know what that is. Dave, thank you for coming on the show. Awesome. You get one second, I want to show you something. Are, you remember the TV show, Are You Afraid of the Dark, right, on Nickelodeon? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A very good show. Our crew, there's some members that really like that show, and they were upset it went off the air. They did their own little Are You Afraid of the Dark, and they visited a place that, that you might know. Let's take a look. Who's turns this night? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember Terry <laughs> told that really scary story last yeah. week? Yeah, I think, I think you're up again. Well, I hope you guys wore your Depends, because this one's a real underwear soiler. It's a tale of three college friends, a lot like us. As a matter of fact, almost identical to us. Submitted for the approval of the Up Late Society, I call this story the tale of the missing sign. It was a day like any other. Hey yeah, guys, I'm getting a little hungry. Yeah, me too. I haven't eaten in a long time. Where should we go? Let's see, there's... Subway. Taco Bell. Pita Pit. KFC. The possibilities are endless. Let's go. There's a rumbly in my tumbly. Guys, seriously, there's no food around here. Seriously, I haven't seen any signs. Where are the restaurants? Do you think there's some food places this way? Wow, these crooks are festive. I'm so hungry. <laughs> they think they've got it bad. I'm starving. What's the smell? A Slim Jim? It, it's nothing. that I named after myself. Well, you know, we are kind of hungry. What do you serve? What don't we have? You got batter dipped fish, or batter dipped chicken, uh, fried fat globules, uh, or uh, popcorn chicken. Uh, let's, let's go! go! So they ate, and Long John Silver's business started booming. But no one ever saw Long John Silver again. <laughs> the sign graveyard. You might want to visit that place. Uh, yeah, that's good. We, we're going to have to put a new chapter in the book. Okay, <laughs> sorry, sorry about that. Maybe we should have told you. That's right. Dave, thanks again, buddy. Hey, thanks, Dave. We'll be right back. Really